in terms of more mystery about what's a, what's ahead, um, Keegan Murray had a hell of a rookie season, broke the single season or the rookie three point record for threes made in the season, and shot over what forty one percent. Crazy, just absolutely fantastic option out on the perimeter for the Kings. Um, and he has made strides in, in other aspects of the game. I feel like you saw his defense kind of have various moments kind of starting in the midpoint of the year. And he's, he's kind of slowly progressed there. He's really progressed in his confidence and his, his rebounding ever since that first time Mike Brown called him out in a press conference is generally very good. I feel like he's a pretty consistent, like five or six rebounds a game as of late. But comes another phase of being a professional basketball player that's not even easy for people that have been in the league for a while. When it's your first playoff series, it's a hell of an adjustment. What do you expect from Keegan Murray in the playoffs? That's a tough question because he's a rookie on a big stage. But it's also like, well, if anyone was going to do well, it would be Keegan Murray because he's just, I mean, he made 200 threes in his rookie year on the third best team in the West. So it's like you think he has that confidence and that poise to keep performing well in the playoffs as a rookie. And I think he can. I I think at the end of the day, just to say it, I I don't know. (laughs) I feel like that's half of our answers, right? It's like he could be just the same old Keegan Murray because he's he's that kind of rookie. He's just a calm, collected guy. But, man, sometimes we'll see Keegan Murray go cold and it's like, geez, stop shooting, dude. Um, which I appreciate when he doesn't stop shooting. It means he doesn't lack confidence, I guess. But, I mean, making, making big threes in the playoffs, that can be tough. I've always, I always give rookies, you know, the benefit of the doubt. They're rookies. But I don't know. I, I Honestly, honestly, not just saying this as Keegan Murray fan or a Kings fan. It's like Keegan Murray's just, he's not like those other rookies. I think he's, I think he has a better chance of keeping it up in the playoffs than maybe some other youngsters out there. But he does have that rookie label on him that will make you question it. The way I see it is, or the way I anticipate it going, is that he's going to struggle a little bit at first. Maybe in some form, whether it's a combination of all these, but maybe his threes aren't falling. Maybe the intensity of the game is a little too much and you've seen him kind of turn into a statue at times and become kind of a deer in the headlight. But all of that never lasts too long. And that's the one thing that you're kind of alluding to also with Murray is he's not like other rookies. He's mature. He bounces back. When I said like the playoffs is being is an adjustment, it's just another adjustment for Keegan Murray. Whether it was having to adjust from getting used to NBA travel and the off the court matter that happened in November he bounced back. He figured it out. Uh, it seemed like for a second there, maybe it was in February or early March, it kind of seemed like he was cooling off for a second there. And we talked about it, and it just felt like it seems like another adjustment. You're getting to this kind of end of the season where teams are getting guys back and coming back at full strength and really gearing up for what lies ahead. And it didn't take him very long to get back going. I kind of foresee the same thing for him that by – and maybe it'll be too late. <laughs> maybe it won't come in time and make the necessary impact. But in terms of playing the long game, uh, of playing down the line, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he struggles for the first two or three games and then kind of just starts playing like the normal Keegan Murray. It'll be really interesting to see what happens if the threes are falling or not, because if the threes aren't falling, and I'll get to this when we start when we get to our predictions, but it's like as much as you don't want this to happen in the playoffs because you can't rely on this to win a championship, but in the first round up against the Warriors, you're going to need three point shooting to go down. And obviously that's probably what Warriors fans want to hear. It's like, Oh, the only way that the Kings can beat the Warriors is if they shoot, if they hit like 17 or 18 threes a game and shoot close to 40% as a team. Um, But sadly that's going to have to be a factor at some point. And so if Keegan Murray is not hitting threes and contributing to that, you know, things could get, kind of difficult in terms of using him and his placement out there. But again, it's that whole thing of the way this guy's adjusted, the way this guy's remained confident, regardless of the situation and the challenges ahead of him. 
I just that's kind of and you're kind of saying this two, this twofold thing like well we don't know because he's a rookie but he's also not like other rookies and I think for that reason that synthesizes into this I don't want to call it a forecast but this prediction that he'll he'll struggle for a game or two maybe three and then kind of get it going or at least get back on the wagon as it were does that sound crazy no I I think that's a really excellent prediction actually. I, I kind of kind of what I was saying, I guess, in a way, but really laying it out there and what might actually happen. 